artist on the planet. This one straight to a boy there. You better praise it, no can it. Left by a shield and a friend. I am P45 if you can it. Fire red and dead. Me God. I'm your host L, and this is the hottest on the planet Fire Red Station. I'd like to take this time to welcome Dawn Penn. Listener, Fire Red Station are the coolest thing me ever hear from radio. Don't you dare move that mouse. How did I get into music? So yes, we um all three of us, me and my other two sisters, them was actually doing the piano. Mm. And then we'll do the exams. Mm. And then, then one and one time them said I must sing. But me wasn't singing, me was always playing the piano. Yeah. Till I don't know, I just enter a like a competition what the church should have now, mm. the Youth for Christ, which yeah. is a place that is is held at right there by Duke Street and Church Street. And play and sing a song named How Big Is God. Yeah. And then play some of them come first or some story like that. And but I actually how I how I I used to follow my friend I remember I used to be going to every dance in my I go read town on a Sunday after Sunday school. Mm-hmm. I go tell me my cook things when they my Havana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we them name though. Yeah. <laughs> My parents them don't know I know, you know, but when we turn up, all of us turn up at home. And time them come before me, me not trouble me to explain where I was or how they managed to be, you know. And yeah. then them start saying me carry them and all them something and me yeah. I get no problem. So me used to like back out from them and just send them over. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, we used to go to Maritones and we used to follow up Maritones hard. Maritones, you know, they play the nice music, the old time music, the music where we want to hear the current one and you could have heard from um you used to have some Wildman Street when the, the man them set up them set. You could have heard one night me and my bed about two o'clock and I hear this song no 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 play. I said, What? I saw the song sound. And that song that I saw over Vineyard Town that I play in at 2 o'clock in the morning and I mean I'm a bit of a Kingston Gads at 8 and I said, what? <laughs> I saw me did you hear the song for two? Yeah. So, um, a lot of things evolved since then yeah. and been on tour, go here, there and everywhere and except Africa up to yet, and reach it yet. Yeah. But I mean, basically everywhere, Australia, um, the whole of the, the Brexit area is a joke. We just come yeah. here from Jamaica tonight. Yeah. We're going to rehearse for a week and we're going to go on a tour 30 shows a night for the month. Yeah. So every night you're on stage. Wow. <clears throat> so sometimes, yeah. that was in the days when Desmond Decker was alive anyway. Yeah. Um, you sing tonight and the people don't like you. I don't like you to the max. Yeah. Anytime you see them don't like this man, they can have a problem because I'm the headliner. Yeah. And him just come to the thing and just sweep up everything, me and liquor and him some there for the place. You know, like 
what you have on the table yeah. to drink or whatever, I would have just get upset and so. But um, the people then they come and say, we want those pills. Hmm? So tonight was my night, tomorrow night was his night. It was very good, it was very nice and we had a good rapport with everybody mm -hmm. and touring and so is fun because you get to go to different countries, see how people react and of course we try to, I personally try to learn, the, well, I did Spanish, my father was in Cuba for 32 years, so I hear Spanish every day, okay. all the dog, the most Spanish name, so you must imagine. <laughs> Then um, I did French in school, in high school. I did Latin, we had to do Latin as well. Mm. And after traveling around, I learned German. I go to Hawaii and I learned certain things in Hawaii. And um, Italian was just like Spanish or French. Because once you know one language, it kind of help you to, you know, the verbs mm. and how them conjugate them thing and certain little thing. So I, I, don't, I don't have to complain about still. Okay. My next question was, do you believe in the Most High? But I know this from the fact that you said that you sing to him. But how does he affect your work? Well, I was a bit scared because when I took on this baton to go worldwide with my thing, I said to myself, well, I'm not really singing gospel like that. Mm -hmm. So, and you can't hold it to them in your hand. Like God for one side and the next one for the next one. I'm with a word for the longest while. But the most I show me what what I do, mm. I do praise and worship before my set. Yeah. I give thanks to him before I when I open, that's what I do. As a rule of thumb. I don't do no show unless I do two, three songs. Okay. Like that. And then yeah. I go into my set. So okay. I'm fine. But my sing gospel still. For true. You did? Yeah. Okay. I have, class, I have a gospel album and I have a secular album. Okay. Who has a copy? What shows that you It's done? unreleased, but I have seven albums actually. And that may going to make nine. Wow. And I have some singles. Is those I didn't want to give you no, I think it was a radio station. Please tell us about your collaborations, who you've worked with. Who I've worked with? Mm. So you want me to guess, you know, who I work with? Just a few. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Well, there was a time when you had um, a man named Johnny Nash. Mm. You should do nuggets for the needy. Yeah. Arthur Jenkins and Danny Sims, the Jazz Syndicate, were at Randy's. Yeah. For six months, we were up in Randy's okay. doing recordings yeah. with tracks like Milkshake and, Milkshake and Potato Chips. Yeah. We um, created songs at that time and um, just, well, Johnny Nash was doing this album, but we were just there. It was like basically it's showing us certain like a handles of writing a song yeah yeah and what you ask me i want to stay close to the, the answer the no, question no, you know. you no it's true the color okay the, that was one of the collaborations then because me the backup for eddie love it album to expect the guy to experience yeah right which is mostly baba and the song mm. yeah um i went down to Federal and did some recording on my own, but I went to West Indies Records, which is the studio that it would say I got it control, yeah. and some other people did start recording. So I used to do recordings down there. It must be him, for example, is a song I did down there. Yeah. To serve with love was some a tra another track. I did a couple tracks down there. I did some recordings with up by Coxon as well. Really and truly, I was living next door to where Prince Buster. Okay, I live at Luke Lane. You have Charles Street, or Beeson Street, or whatever that one is. But you have not Orange Street. Yeah? Mm. On Orange Street, you have Cox over here, so. You have <laughs> Prince Buster over here, so. Mm. And down the road, you have the man we, um run. He have, a, he have a label up in England here as well, but he's not into music like that, no. He's into building homes and things like that. Okay. 
and um, Miss Pottinger, who a lot of people used to go to as well, mm -hmm. down Orange Street, and you had Randy's on the square by North Parade. You have Derek Harriet up the road, and you have a guy named Roman Marcus from Aquarius Records close by. So it was infiltrated with um, a lot of record shops and things. And the collaboration was like when I went to West Indies Records to do some music, then I went by Federal to do some next one with Elevate and then people there. And um, just my own personal thing over studio. Can we used to basically at studio one on a regular basis? Would you mind sharing with the Firebird family the current struggles you think a rug recording artist may face? Well, it's really a struggle indeed. Everybody wants to be a superstar. Mm -hmm. Well, a star, but a superstar. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good wish. Not everyone would be singing. Mm -hmm. You have people who have gifts. They can write lyrics like poems. Mm -hmm. And they're very good at it. Mm -hmm. And they will write something in a flash. You have people who play music so they can always create. I used to go on a piano and just create my thing, name, but then, oh well, my father said they want to quell people and play piano, so yeah. I have to just find some next place to play the thing. Them. This has stressed with them big time. Yeah. So, um, the face, the thing where you it's a business, it's not a game. We were, I remember, we were going to school and we liked to hear our name on the radio. But my parents never really know that I was doing no singing like that, you know, kind of, but I couldn't tell them nothing. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't, it was like they approved it or their thing, because normally my dad would even want me to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, when I broke out now and started to go to Sombrero, and then you yeah, JBC, I used to work at JBC Radio as well, okay. in the newsroom. Where things would happen out on the street and somebody was news flash. So 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 happening or this road is not is yeah. you know, you're trying to drive on that road or anything yeah. that's going on there used to be in the newsroom and doing that. So I was doing that. Um what you're saying to me, okay, you have to usually when the parents into the music, mm -hmm. most people know it's a good little while they train their kids or they allow their kids to be part of the thing as well to carry on their legacy or something like that yeah. which is prudent but um, real and truly the industry is a business mm. so you have to know who the manager going to be mm. you have to know what the songs is you're going to be singing mm. you have to know can this person write, write, write a song? Are they, are they word or if I put my money um, to promote them, would, would they be successful or something? But um, right now, with what's happening in technology, I always wished it was like that as well. You record the song today, and tonight it's out on the street. Mm. But you know, they used to wait a month or so and put something on a pre release yeah. or um, they come back maybe two months down the line. But now, I'm, I hear people, certain people I speak to, they say, Oh, 200 songs came to me this week and it's happening all the time. And some people are kind of not so with it like that in terms of they don't want you to release anything right now because i'm saying this plague is in question and blah 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 but i do believe that while we are in this lame duck session if you have something to put out there for people to constantly be hearing you you know because i was the, i was something said to me you can put out a song every week so i was starting to put out some of my tracks like that. I wasn't I wasn't even promoting them like that, you know. I just put them on Facebook or Twitter and yeah. these kind of places and you know yeah. used to do certain things. So as I say, it's I, it's a bad thing but it's a good thing. I think it has given us the chance to reflect and check out what we need to do, what is behind and all these different things, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it does. What plans do you have currently in the pipeline?
plans. Yeah. I don't like to tell people about my plans, you know. <laughs> and you going to say that, you know? Eh? <laughs> and you going to say that? No. <laughs> to be honest, okay, watch this. Um, I was at home this afternoon until late. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing the thing mm-hmm. in it something, and I see I said we are going to be there at 7 o'clock and all these different type of things. But, um, there comes a time it's out of my uh-huh. mind because I'm thinking of the meeting I have tomorrow. Yeah. I'm seeing it, but I don't hear nothing. Yeah. But I said to myself, oh my God, I I really can't say that I'm going to come and don't turn up and really and truly, you know what I mean? Right now, you need as much promotion and publicity as possible because everybody's a singer. Mm-hmm. People are training them children now for, yeah. for learn to go sing or something like that. But as I said, it's like if God gave everybody to sing, we have to praise him. Yeah. He needs praises. Yeah. If you praise you good, you gone clear. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely. Me prove it, that's why I'm gonna tell you so. Yeah. I'm serious. You are even play some play some records. Mm. Because from what I hear, the angels they love music as well. Yeah. And then tune in for you, you know. Yeah. And you can get a blessing just from playing a record of yeah. praise yeah. before you go. So what I do, I make sure I say a prayer or two or three. Today is the seventh. I did seven today. Tomorrow yeah. I'll do eight. Yeah. And I do it to animals. I show me. I should be telling you these things. I never had any business. But <laughs> <laughs> he showed, when it reaches double digits numbers, like say 17, 16, 12. For 12, I can do six and I'm good. But I most time want to do the 12. So what I do, I wake up early. When I wake up, I do not ask a question. I just draw for what I supposed to draw for and start praying. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I pray for a two, three hours. Mm-hmm. And sometimes something distracts me as well. Like something we just, you, you know, you have some other things to do. Mm-hmm. So you will pause a bit. But I have to get through that. If I don't do it, I don't really have a good day. Yeah. To be honest. So I have to stay up on the line. Eh? Yeah. No matter what. To be honest, so that was a good life. Eh? It's a good place to be. I am telling you, I don't even have to worry about that thing. But I, I am telling you, I leave my house at a certain time today, and I can't believe all which part I reach. You know, it's true. As I reach to one station, a next train coming in, and I come around and I get the train. I don't wait nowhere and nothing. That's why I reach here now. Wow. I'm coming from Walsall, you know, <laughs> to Birmingham New Street. The Birmingham, listen to this one. This one, take the cake for the day. I, I had to, I don't tell, it's my business anyway. I don't care. I had to send some money to, to my daughter, mm-hmm. right? I knew that I had to do that. I wanted to do that. My son dropped me at the train station. One of my son and dropped me at the train station. And me come out of the train station, but... The train was coming about 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. The train was supposed to come in 15 minutes, yeah? Mm-hmm. So I said to myself, you know what? Since me know that tomorrow I'm supposed to really do something with the people then. Now go. Now go just um go by the Western Union and do the money right there. So I know that man and I go there all the time. And when I went there, I got through. I took a cab. I took a black cab from the train station. Go over the thing. But the man wait on me yeah. and carry me back around to the train station. You know, so in between that time, I do the transaction for my daughter and everything, and the train don't come. And when I reached there, that train delayed, and the train before that not coming. So no train left the station while I was over there doing that. I said, My God, no, this is too much. And when I it's because I say it was going to Birmingham New Street, but this one will come. It stopped at every, every about six or eight station before it reached Birmingham New Street, and everything was just flowing like that. Mm. So you have to pray. You mm-hmm. cannot, you cannot. And I keep telling people, if you don't even know how to pray from your spirit, read a psalm when you go to work. Mm. And you have some prayer inside of the Bible. Sometimes you see them when you're reading it, mm. and you see a prayer. Read that. You have prayers inside of the Bible as well. So, you just have to stay tuned. And you still going to get trial and testing, do you know? mm. Don't think, look how you're ready to not get no problem. Wow. Are you, you are going to get the problem. Okay, no. <laughs> how can the Fire family keep in contact with you? Me? Yeah. 
recommend Wangji. Well, I'm in 88 countries of the world to begin with, but I have a website, dawnfed.com. I really actually are supposed to be selling t-shirts and I'm supposed to be selling my book, pre-book, because I said that Dawn Fed was my name and it's a soda name I want bag of rubbish. I said, well, my father didn't name now. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so, I saw me have to ask them though, serious, and I tried to correct it, and they wouldn't allow me to make the correction. So, I just leave them with them wrong information because I'm trying to tell the people themselves, I'm not be able to remember what you want me to do. Yeah. So, um, I have the website, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn. I was on one year in Power talking about bitcoins long before people are talking about like bitcoins and trading and all this thing. And you know how much I would even tell you the amount of bitcoins I supposed to have from Empower. And I never get a bitcoin yet. I didn't know the bitcoin looked like that in the physical. I'm seeing it in pictures but not in the physical. But um, with the investments and things that's going on now, um, Empower changed their name anyway. But it's basically linked in. Twitter, Instagram, um, the website, and some other little one about the place. Okay. Facebook and all these people, sorry. Facebook. I know that the name is you know, Facebook. I'm a friend of man. Because up to last night I was on it, and I, you know, he, he, every minute the thing them change though. Mm, that layer. If you look over this side, you see some. By the time you look, you see something over. So, so them ex I don't know how people expect to be doing two things at a time. Mm -hmm. You cannot. And I'm talking about what do them call the word? Multitask. I either think that you know, you make up a mistake. It's true because you're on the right side looking at this thing, and up pops something. Oh, tonight this person so I said, oh, you might see. You didn't finish your post, you know. Yeah. Oh no, all of that is not bad. Yeah. But I'm talking about two, three items coming up there to you at the same time. Yeah. And how can you focus on three things at the same time? Yeah. Oh, that work. It's true. You know, must make mistake. Hi, this is Don Penn from now and then. And when I'm in the UK, I listen to the fire red station. Firing away. You heard? That's my word. Don Penn said that. It has been an honor interviewing you. I'd like to thank you for letting us even to be No, I'm really glad you know because, to be honest, um, as I said, everybody has been inside them house. Lock up. Turn to them lockdown thing. Yeah. It's in the Bible, though, you know? it's in Revelation, you know, about this thing, you know, you know yeah. that? Did you know? Yeah. Them calling it revolution now, you know, instead of revelation. Yeah. But I had gone last year and said that we have to pray for the world mm. in a chain thing like, okay, 6 to 9, mm. 9 to 12, yeah. 12 to 3, yeah. 3 to 6. Not one person doing it, you know, but people, groups of people okay. praying for each one. We are all human beings and whether you call a blue link pink, white, white, whatever your color is, yeah. it don't matter to God. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Not only God, let us make man in his own image. It's not just, is Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, Rafa, Jehovah, Elohim, Jehovah, El Shaddai, Jehovah, El Roy. It's a whole heap of different beings together. Mm -hmm. With Jesus, they want to leave out Jesus, but at the feet of Jesus, every knee shall bow. I don't know if they know them can change that to something else. I don't know. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then don't want to hear that. And furthermore, it's coming. There is a the most I show me some name for calling. Mm. When I say a prayer and I want to seal the prayer, mm. I call out to Abba Father, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Awesome is your name. Mm. The lion of the tribe of Judah. What is my name? It comes to the point where I put it in alphabetical order. Yeah. So I have a whole sheet of all the name them. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. The awesome is your name, the beginning and the end. Then you have the creator, the covenant keeping God. My comforter. Then you have D, my deliverer. Then you have E, the everlasting father of light. Yeah. Faithful and true witness. I put it in alphabetical order, you know, and I type it so I don't forget. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, you keep it. The God of Elijah, the God of Elijah, the God of Tansamo, the speak, let the red speak, the God of change, a lot of jobs. 
the guy that remembered Hannah, the guy that who they were, yeah, right?